Hi, Maureen. All right, just getting everything set up. Okay. Hi, Luann. Oh, I'm doing kind of okay. Uh, still kind of sick, but at the same time, I can like still function enough to do this, <laughs> if that makes sense. It's just things are probably going to be a bit more low key tonight as opposed to where I run around and do all kinds of crazy stuff. Hi, Jan. Hi, Vonda. I missed you guys having to call out a whole bunch of times. It's one of the main reasons that I decided I was going to do it tonight because I was like, oh, you know, I miss doing it. Yeah, no, I won't overdo it, Luann. Yeah, I know. I've got my my chair here if I feel like I need to sit down. So I've, I've got it. <laughs> Let's just wait for some people to come in. I figured that if we, like, have kind of, like, a more low-key sort of party and maybe, like, chit-chat a bit more or whatever, that that would be, like, more my speed right now as opposed to where I'm, like, dancing around and behind the curtain and all of that. Good to see you up and around, Allison. Love the wig you're wearing. Thank you, Maria. Good to see you too again. Oh, thank you, Jan. Hi, Martha. Yes. This wig is the Hairdo Thrill Seeker, and this is in the Glazed Hazelnut. I spent, like, the better part of today, like, taking pictures of wigs and stuff. So, yes, Glazed Hazelnut. So, I've got like a bunch of pictures that um, I gave them to Shirley, so they'll be up on the site, and they're all like mostly bell tress that way because there's so many uh, questions about like what does it look like. That way, hopefully, it can help if you have multiple ones, even if it's multiple uh, styles, but it's in different um, colors. That way, it should help. Because I know the swatches don't help. This says we missed you but want you to feel better. Oh, no, I know, Luann. I, I promise I won't overdo it, like, at all. Hi, Shirley. Yes, I will definitely take it easy. Like I said, I've got my chair here if I need to sit down. I promise. <laughs> you look so good in so many styles. Oh, thank you, Sandra. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Phelan. Yeah, I'm getting there, guys. Which one is this? Uh, Chantel, this is Hairdo Thrill Seeker, and this is in the color... Glazed hazelnut. These tags, I swear. Yeah, this is the one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is the one out of. Um, oh, come on. This is the one out of um, the new hairdo ones that has the lace front and the monofilament part here. The other ones have the faux scalp and a hard front. So this is the one where it's like just like a regular wig, if you will. And it also has the uh, Raquel Welsh, same sort of thing where it has the lighter colors in the front to help with the not seeing knots and stuff. Thank you for sharing, Martha. Alrighty, guys. So I guess we'll just kind of start going once we hit seven. Any pictures or videos of the different blondes next to each other? Uh, I haven't done that yet, but I do have where, like, I took the pictures, and I sent them to Shirley, and I also, um, I can obviously put them together in, like, a post very easily. So, yeah, I have all of the new blondes and from Lux and the, uh, City Collection. So, yes, I can go ahead and make a post like that so you can see them all, like, next to each other. And they all have natural, uh, lighting also. No artificial. All sunlight. Hi, Sharon. You go, uh, Shirley posted the warehouse clearance sale for Beltress. I really love this curl cut. Yes, me too, Kathleen. Yeah, this is like super, super popular. And the first time I put it on, I was like, it reminds me of the Bobby Boss wigs a little bit because they kind of have the same thing where they have a lot where it's like flatter on the top and then you have like a whole bunch of noise like in the middle and then it becomes straight ends. It reminds me of those. There's so many that are like that. It's a super, super popular and like fashion forward sort of wave pattern. Thank you for sharing, Luann. Okay, so I have this wig right here in two colors, and I know last night it was a question of who has the um, the golden the golden wheat 
and that's that's this one right here so I have her in golden wheat also so this is what she looks like in a blonde this is like a a warm blonde but I honestly think out of the colors they gave that are rooted this is their ashiest blonde because the other one is like a rooted ginger blonde and the other one is I can't remember I think I think it's this one so this is like the ashiest one from what I can tell and the root is it's really not too dark if you see but it definitely isn't warm so there's an offset right there so beautiful says Martha yes no I agree I really really love these here I will take this one off and I'll hold them up side by side so you can see them so this one's glazed hazelnut and this one is the golden ginger so it's very much it's so what I really love about this is it's super dimensional like if you look at this one here if you look at this one here there's a lot of colors going on in there you can see where there's like a platinum and then you can see that like golden wheat sort of warmer blonde mixed all throughout and then you have the root and you have the pop of like platinum in the front here so there's a lot going on it is not just like a plain plain blonde super dimension that looks really soft and pretty yes Sharon that's yeah that's what I was just saying yeah no these fibers are really really soft they are the same as the Raquel Welsh so they're very soft and they are heat defiant so you can straighten it if you don't like the waves or make it more curly if that's what you want to and yeah I just think this is this is really pretty I like told Shirley I was like I'm gonna get some <laughs> Yeah, this is this is super pretty. The style and there's so much of it. You could easily put it up too, and you can put it in a ponytail if you want just like low maintenance. But you could easily take a clip and like go like this with it and clip it. I've got the tag in my hand, but you could easily clip it like this. And I think that would be really pretty. Thank you for sharing, Kathleen. Hi, Vicky. All right, so these are all part of the, the three, and I have six of the new ones, and I'll show each color because you can get each one of them in that color. So if you say, I don't like this style, but I love this color, they do have it in like the sleek for a week and the curly girly. So there are definitely options if you say, like, I don't like one, but I really like that color. So let me show you, since I know there was questions about the skin part and the way that this looks so this does not have a lace front it's it's called a hard front which is where it just becomes where it's like the part of the wig but it does have a false root and you can see it right here like a false scalp so faux scalp skin part is what I call it it's like a piece of fabric that is woven into the cap here right so as you can see it looks like hairs are growing out of your scalp with that and when you put it on You have where so I haven't tightened these and there's quite a bit of room still in there that's why it might look a little big on me because it is <laughs> so you have where it comes forward and this is what it would look like and I honestly think for a hard front wig this really isn't bad because there's quite a few that have hard fronts and it looks really bad like it's it could be way worse than this is what I'm saying so I think as a hard front wig this one is really good if you say I want something straight and easy and especially if you're saying like I might wear like a hat with it or a beanie or like a headband for what you pull over it then it absolutely will be covered up anyways so thankful you were feeling better Allison oh thank you Brenda yeah I'm getting there my whole family is sick now though which is like <sighs> Yeah, I plan to go live tomorrow, but that is up in the air, shall we say, at this point, because all three of my younger kids are sick and my husband is sick. And so since I'm on the feeling better end of that, it'll be where I end up being the person doing everything, if that becomes it, which of course, that's that's what I want to do. So, but I might not be here tomorrow, depending on what's going on in the house. Allison, what is the purpose of the faux scalp? Why not just make it a mono? Is it cost friendly this way? Oh yes, Martha, definitely. It's 100% cost effective. So this is because it's it's a basic machine cap all the way around. Besides the fact that it also has um, 
Velcro adjusters as opposed to like hook and eye or something like that. So this right here, because of a monofilament, like this doesn't allow for parting. It, you, I mean, could you force it? Sure. But for the most part, it's just a fixed part right here in the center and that's where it stays. And it is significantly cheaper than a monofilament sort of thing. Um, like a full mono anyways, but say like this one over here, there's not a steep price difference. I don't know why they chose to do this here and, and one of those over there kind of thing. I just know that there is like a price difference, but I mean, honestly, I mean, if I was making it, I would have made them all like this. They could have all still been center parts, but had a lace front and a monofilament part, but they chose not to do it with this. And it's about like from, if I remember correctly, maybe like a 10 or $20 difference for the customer. So, so this color right here before I, I didn't ever said what it was, this is the uh, chocolate copper and then I also have her in this is the Swedish blonde so this is much much more warm than the other blonde that, that I also have right here this is both unrooted blondes this one's alabaster this one is Swedish blonde so you can see this is going to be the lightest color they have and I will get to that in just a minute I need bangs. Yeah, they didn't make any with bangs. I'll rest tomorrow, says Brenda. Okay. You're welcome, Martha. So here is the faux scalp on the lighter one. So you can see it's a little more difficult to see when I hold it like this because of how light it is. But once I put it on, you can see it, at least because I think this one's just kind of helps when you've got it on sort of thing. So you can see here, it's a little easier to see, especially in person anyways. Yeah. In person, you can definitely see it. I know with the lighting here, it might be a little difficult with the shine on it, but you can definitely see. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Margaret. Oh, you're not late. I only started like about eight minutes ago, so you're okay. And hi, Anne. Okay, yeah, so Shirley posted the last two. And for Martha, what you were asking, okay, so I was off. So the one that has the monofilament part and the lace front is $160, um, $160.65. And the difference between not having a lace front and a mono part is like $8. Because she says it's $152.15. So there's not a difference. I don't know why they didn't just do it for all of them, but maybe somebody wanted it like that, you know? So these ones have a length where you can put them back if you want, and you can also clip them up. There's just enough length there if that's something you're interested in. Wow, not much difference at all. Right, Martha? That's what I was saying. I was like, oh, I was way off. It like obviously... <laughs> All right, so let's go to, this is Curly Girly, and she has the same sort of situation, which is where it has the faux scalp part. There's no lace front, it's a hard front again, and you just have this. And I'm not going over like the cap and stuff because it's just a basic machine cap. There's nothing like exciting. Um, they all have the Velcro adjusters, but that's about it. So here's this part, so you can see it does look like, um, the hair is growing out of the scalp. I love this color though, it's so pretty. It's very dimensional for a red. Hi Mary Jane. Okay, so I will put this one on and this one I did brush out. I guess I'll hold it right here. So this one is not brushed out and this one is. And you can see a little bit of the difference, how the curls became a little bit wider and that's about it. And you can easily put them back to their ramen noodle form if you just get them wet or if you go down the line and you pull them together and stuff like this, like a bunch. But if you just spray them or wash it, it'll go right back to it if you don't like it the way it looks like that. And with these ones, because of how long they are, I really do just find putting them on like backwards, like um, back to front as opposed to where I flip it is a little easier. So this is how long these guys are, which is 
These are the longest ones, I think. And this color is, this is glazed cinnamon. So this is gonna be the most red one that they have, I think, from what I remember. And it's quite long on me. I'm not very tall, so this will probably not look as long on somebody who is taller than me. I am almost, almost 5'3", so if you can see it comes, if I stretch them out all the way to the top of my hips, so if somebody who's, say, like six foot tall or something, it's going to be like up here instead of down here. Hi, Carolyn. I want to encourage everyone to try new colors. I wore a dark brown today and felt like a totally different woman. It's just such an incredible journey. Right, Martha? Like, I really, I do that too. Like, I have wigs of all colors because I just find it to be so fun. Like, that's like the thing about wigs where it's just like, you can try anything, color, style, length, texture, anything. And it's just, you can't get that in real life. Not very easily, at least. You ruin your hair, that's for sure. So I have a couple questions for you guys. So what are some styles or brands that you guys, or style and brand, that you guys are super interested in, that you would want to see me have here that I can review for you in real time and you guys can see it and it can like stay here and you can always ask about it. So if you have anything, a style you've wanted to see in person and you just haven't been able to, go ahead and drop those down because I'm gonna make a list and I'm gonna send it to Shirley. <laughs> so here is Miss Ramen Noodles. Um, this is the color Alabaster. This is their lightest unrooted. Here is the scalp part right here. Thank you. I've been thinking of getting an auburn brown to try. I think you should, Shay. You love bobs and beltress. Okay. There's quite a few bobs in beltress right now, I think. But yes, there are. I actually have a couple bobs bobs that I can show tonight too. All right, so as you can see, I like this color. <laughs> There's something about the like unrooted, like super light blonde that I really like. Califia, Beltrus, and brown sugar sweet cream. Okay, Rhonda. Uh, Penny says Raquel Welsh, Beltrus, medium length, Butter beer blonde. Okay. I do have some Raquel Welsh that I'll show today also. Beltrez medium. Okay. I'd love to see one or two of the John Renew Renault lights. Okay. I actually did have them on the list already because I know that those have been super popular. Anything that like makes its way around um, Instagram in, in particular, I write those down because I know that those are popular because the way that they go, everyone sees them like bing, 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 bing. And it gets everyone's gears rolling. I'm a little nervous about the reviews that say the lace is longer at the hairline. I'd love to see you show one. Okay, Sharon. Yeah. Uh, like a Rachel. Like I know that they have a light in Rachel and it's a couple. I have like a whole list on my phone, I think. Let me see. Where I've actually like Wrote, th wrote them down as I've seen them because I know that it can be like kind of crazy. Let's see. Yeah, Rachel Light, Zara Light, Julianne Light. Those are ones that I've seen where they go around along with January, Kristen, Ignite, Mila, Victoria, Scarlet, Amber. Those are all John Renault ones that I've seen going around. Day. I love that wig on you. Oh, thank you, Martha. Hi, Dolores. All right. Let's see. So here we go. Uh, is this one curly girly? I'm so tempted. Yes, Martha. This, this one is curly girly. And actually, I really like this one, too. Like, specifically like this. It's, it's kind of a vibe, like, on its own. Like, it's very, like, here. I'll show you that you, it's very long, obviously, but... Um, I think I saw a post where you said that you were six foot, Martha, which is, I wouldn't have known that by your pictures. You don't look six foot, but I am really short and you can see how long it is on me. If you're actually six foot, it won't look this long. And then you can also trim it in between the curls so you don't lose the wave pattern. 
and you can put it in a ponytail. And because it's kind of tapers as it goes down, this would be a really good one to do like this. Or if you were to put her in a bun, and like if you were to have like the chopsticks that you put through, or like hairpins or something, or just even just a clip, that would be really super pretty. All right. Uh, Kathleen says Drew by John Renault, Malibu Blonde and Shaded Sun. Okay. Would like to see Ellen Villa, Leah two in the shoulder length ones in the city collection of Beltrus. Okay, Phelan. Yeah, I actually do have the Leah two on there. Oh, you're wow, you're six one? Oh goodness. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely taller than me, for sure. So this one might not this I think might be pretty doable to you. I'm trying to think like it would Maybe be like even just like up to here on you, like, because I'm I'm like really short, like petite, small, and just short. So if you're that tall, it might be not not too much for you, because this is not heavy density for sure. Uh, that would be so cute with a boggin or hat or side pony. Yes, I absolutely agree. Hi Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning to you, all the way in Malta. What is the cost? The cost of this one, Martha? Uh, let's see. I think she posted it. Let me check. Yes. She has it listed for 160 uh, 65 So the same as the Sleep for the Week one. So yes, here we are. All right. So yeah, that's what I thought is that I heard kind of like a bit of like rumbling in the group how some people were not happy with Beltras and the way things are going. And there was a lot of people talking about how they wanted Raquel Welsh, they wanted uh, John Renault and Ellen Villa. So they just kind of line up where there's still people who do like um, those, but there's some people who are who are kind of over it. So that that does match up. So all right, I can I can always ask for like a mix of stuff. So that's good. Because I do have. All of the city collection already so the person who was asking for um shoulder length ones in the city collection of beltress of uh, phelan i i do have all of those but let's go with these are the raquel welsh that came out recently this is the straight up with a twist elite and i have her in two colors so we can see them so this is her and this is in shaded cappuccino which this is an RL1222 SS. So this one here has an interesting cap. Um, it has a full monofilament crown. This is on this is gonna be like a shorter sort of bob that's up to the chin. Or chin, oh yeah, the jawline and chin. It has velvet lined uh, moldable uh, ear tabs, ear to ear lace. So it is hand tied all the way through this region here and you can actually see it pretty well. You can see the hairs in there. So they're all hand tied in there. And then the rest right here is, I would call this closed wefted, which is where there is wefting. You can see the lines go back and forth. It has an extended velvet nape here and velvet adjust or Velcro adjusters. And it has a hidden, hidden adjusters here. So this one here, put her on. There we go. So she is cute, I think. I think she's just kind of right out of the box is cute. And she's got a really nice hairline. And the color is, I normally don't like colors like this, but I've kind of been leaning into this like natural sort of um, dark blonde sort of situation recently where I kind of feel like I'm drawn to it. And that's kind of because it looks the most natural on me. <laughs> I really love Wig Pro brand and they don't get a lot of attention, says Martha. Yeah, I've never done a Wig Pro um, wig party before. So that one, that one might be interesting to do, that's for sure. All right, so here she is to the side and the back. Other side. You love this one, Sandra? Yeah, no, me too. You can see how much there's kind of a lot of density here on the top and but that does afford for like you know what this reminds me of is somebody who's like got like a great head of hair and they've always had 
really thick hair and they can do stuff like pin it back or put it up like this or you have the people who like braid it on the sides like that would be super cute because there is really that much hair here but she very easily if you just work with her a bit she does just fall right to the side just with your hands hi Haley Uh, you like the color, Mary Jane? Me too. Oh, you totally get what I mean, Elizabeth? Yeah. You like the dark blondes too? Yeah, no, I feel like they look super flattering and just really natural on me. Oh, she's super cute. Easy breezy. Which one is she? Oh, Sharon, this is the um, Straight Up With a Twist Elite by um, Raquel Welsh. Is that color similar to brown sugar sweet cream? I will pull one out and show you because I think it is. It's really cute. I missed the name. Yes. It is Straight Up With a Twist Elite by uh, Raquel Welsh. I love my Kylie's and Liana. So easy to wear, says Martha. All right, so here is the brown sugar sweet cream. And as you can see, they're like, they're like the same color. Wow. I mean, it's like literally like the, the same color. My goodness. I did not, I did not know that, but these are, these are literally like the same. You guys are seeing this, right? Yeah, no, this is, this is super close. This is, I think the root on this one is darker. And I think that is the difference. Yeah, because they both have, yeah, these are like basically the same color. Well, wow, it's crazy. Yeah. Who was that that asked that? Wendy, you have a good eye there because, yeah, this is extremely close. Absolutely. Hi, Erin. So there's that. All right, so I will put the next one on, which is I have her in Shaded Biscuit. Super popular color. And for people who really like Beltrus and haven't tried Raquel Welsh, uh, Shaded Biscuit is basically the same color as Butterbeer Blonde, and when I've done other um, color comparisons, it's also the same as Burnt Biscuit from the Lux. Those are like basically the same. I think it probably helps. They're probably like made all in like the same factory or something. All right. I think secretly they are all the same company, <laughs> right? More than this literally what like I was just saying, like they're all made at the same place, honey. <laughs> yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. When it first comes out, sometimes it can be a little like this, but once you kind of work with her, I've got a mirror over here. That's what I'm looking at. So yes, she will eventually start behaving herself. And if she doesn't, that's where like a wig hairspray or a hot comb or something will help for sure. Let me just put her where she wants to go real quick. Okay, that's where she wanted to go. <laughs> She's adorable and so easy to wear. Okay. All right, so here we go. It's Shaded Biscuit. What wig are you trying on? Thanks, Mary. This is... um. Raquel Welsh, this is Straight Up With A Twist Elite. And this is in Shaded Biscuit. You can see how nice the hair moves. And as I do that, it comes forward. <laughs> All right, so she's super pretty. Have you had that? Do, do you have that in Shaded Wheat? No, I don't. Um, I don't have a Shaded Wheat of Raquel Welsh at all. So I can't really show that. I'm not sure how close it is to the golden shaded wheat. I'd have to pull open um, the numbers because I'm not, I'm not too sure because I don't think that's the same color if I remember correctly. It's gorgeous, says Martha. Yes, no, it's super easy to wear, I think. It reminds me of like somebody who's like like boss lady and she's getting ready to go to work and she's like a lawyer and she's gonna go scream at men or something <laughs> that's what this reminds me of oh that's okay yeah sorry margaret yeah 
when I do get one that's in that color, I can hold it up or something. That way you can see if you really want to uh, get this style. Uh, does this one have a lot of hair? Okay, so Phelan, it did kind of, like in the on the top for sure, it was, there was a lot of density and volume, but down the sides, it, it wasn't. So there was more on the top so that if you wanted to part it, it wouldn't, there would never really be, a, but there was no permatease. So there was just a lot of actual individual hairs. So if you wanted to part it and like he comb it down or something, it would definitely be like where you have a little bit more on the top for volume. Hi, Terry. Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm trying. Uh, Shirley says, hi, ladies. If you haven't shared out this live, please do. We'd love to give out some gift cards. Yes. Margaret says it's very cute for summer. Yeah, no, I agree. The other color, what was that again? It was the shaded cappuccino. Uh, Sandra. Sharing is caring, right? The first one was shaded cappuccino. Yes. Here, I can hold them both up so you can see it again. Because I do have quite a few Raquel Welsh that I can show if, if that's what people want to see right now. We don't have to do Feltress. Because I've got more Raquel Welsh over there that I can pull out. That way if you say, I like this style, I just don't know the color. I do have quite a few um, different styles that are in different colors too. So this one is Shaded Biscuit. You can see there's the root. This one here is the Shaded Cappuccino. So you can see they're they're really not like super far off from each other really, but one's just a little more deeper. This is going to be uh, not quite their lightest um, rooted color. I think that comes in platinum also, and then I'm not quite sure if it also comes in um, shaded ice sweet cream, but that one is actually quite um, light also. I have it in the unrooted version, and it's basically like white. All right. Thank you for sharing, Anne. Thank you for sharing, Elizabeth. Love that style of wig, says Mary. Yes, me too. Okay, so the next one I have is a little bit longer, but it's still a Raquel Welsh. This is called um, Flying Solo, and I have her in the color um, Shaded Iced Latte Macchiato. So this is going to be an ashier blonde. As you can see, she's rooted and... Right here, she's got an interesting cap because this is part of, if I remember, it's the Sheer Luxury Collection. Lux Light cap. But I think it's considered the Sheer Luxury, if I remember correctly. No, it just says Lux Light. Okay. Well, this one has a lace front that was ear to ear. It also has silicone ear tabs here that are moldable. And then it has where this part where it looks like it's darker, it has, it's like double got like a double part here and it is hand tied and then you have where it is also hold her like this hand tied all the way to this middle portion just like the elite um straight up with the twist so this is kind of the same thing the cap is just different on the top where the crown is located this is closed wefted and then the extended nape here is covered in silicone and has um velcro adjusters and the adjuster straps are hidden within the cap so this one here is super easy to wear, I think. This is actually my mom's like wish list wig. She wants to like get it again. Uh, whoop. 1922 SS, I think. Do they have it in a grayish? Yes, uh, Sandra. Um, I do, yeah, they have multiple grays. I've actually uh, tried some of them, like, um, is it sugared charcoal is one. I think one's called like pewter. There's one called iced granada, which is really nice. I think I'd actually like that one. Um, yeah, so here's this one, just a little bit longer than the other one. It's the other one ended about here. So you can see these fibers on all of these are super nice feeling too. Here is the lace front. So you can easily pull her back. And because this part is also um, hand tied, you can if you want, you could absolutely come through here and ignore the actual parting space and part it there. 
it would just have where you can see the knots. But beyond that, you could act, you could part it if you didn't want the left-sided part. Shaded Biscuit is nice, says Aria. I agree. Uh, Shirley, this is Flying Solo, and I have her in um, the Shaded Iced Latte Macchiato. Yes. So here she is from the side, from the back. Side again. So she's really pretty, and I think this is just, if you weren't comfortable with the other one being shorter, and it does have where you can put it up just, just a little bit. There's just a little bit left over. Not too much. Oh, cute, 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 says Sharon. Right? It's so perfect. <laughs> yeah, I've only got her in one color, but this is a whole nother Raquel Welch color. I guess, honestly, let me just move this out of the way. Let me keep these right here so I can show them to you next to this. I know it'll probably become a question. So I can show the colors next to each other. Once I find the opening. There we go. All right. So this is Shaded Biscuit with the um, ice, the Shaded Iced Macchiato it's mouthful. And this is the Shaded Cappuccino. So you can see where they fall in line with each other. Because I know the swatches are super hard to read. There's that. So where are you? Go. Biscuit. Chino. Do you have wigs that are stretchy to fit a 24 head? There are some, yes, Noelle. Um, if you go to Shirley's website, they, she has, I think, a whole section where it has large, large heads. Like the length of flying solo, says Margaret. Yeah, no, I prefer this length over this. That's, I just prefer things longer. So I, I get it. Uh, there we go. Wow, Shaded Biscuit almost looks warm in comparison to those two. Yeah, well, that's because this one is super, super ashy. Like, I pulled out, um, what was it? Uh, the British Milk Tea and this one, and they, next to Burnt Biscuit, did the same thing. They looked super, super, like, ashy, and Burnt Biscuit looked, like, weird in comparison. Because, um, the ice, uh, Shaded Ice Latte Macchiato is super, super ashy. It's almost, like, gray um, with how ashy it is. It's extremely ashy. Okay, and now I have three big spenders. This one's like one of my favorite styles. I have it in three three different colors. One of them is a repeat, which is Shaded Biscuit, but I will start off with the one I was talking about before. This is the Iced Sweet Cream, so she's gonna be like this is basically like Elsa hair. It's super, super um, light. It's blonde. It's platinum. But there is, you can see there is dimension in there. Are these in stock, says Margaret? Um, you mean like in Shir at Shirley's like house? I Probably not. I mean, you'd have to order it from, um, you order it from Shirley and then she would put the order in with Raquel Welsh and then as long as they have it in stock, yeah. But I can't imagine that they don't have it in, in stock. These, been, these are super popular styles. So this one here has a full monofilament. There you go. Shirley dropped the link for the large um, cap wigs. Yes, T. Okay, full monofilament. Lace front goes ear to ear. Moldable um, velvet lined ear tabs. This one right here has the kind of cap where it has the lining of silicone all the way down. So it grips your head in the back and creates like a custom fit. It has um, Velcro ear tabs, velvet nape that is extended. So this one I find, I find this cap to be super comfortable. Um, it's stretchy enough, it's open wefted. So I think it'll be super good for the summertime when it comes to um, warmer weather with sweating and whatnot. So this is the uh, Iced Sweet Cream. Very pretty platinum. It is not rooted. It's best to check with customer service and they will check stock email customer service at shirleyswigshop.com. Aesthetica Wigs also run large. Yes, Martha. Yeah, no, they definitely do for sure. All right, so here she is. 
and I think this style is super popular too. This has kind of got the same vibe as like the Thrill Seeker with the way it goes. Like there's a bit of curl here and then it goes straight again. So it's kind of got that whole situation happening without it being too much. And this is one where you can pull her back also. And because of the mono, you can absolutely get in there and mess stuff up on the top here and part it wherever you want. And I showed with the fiery copper the other day that if you want to get a bunch of volume in with this hair, you can. Like I like just I just did. <laughs> so it does not have let's just say it doesn't have permatease. There's it feels like minimal permatease, but this is also um a full mono, so there's none on the top there. Is there any discount code tonight, says Martha. You can use Allison for 30% off. <laughs> now, Shirley didn't tell me anything specifically, but I do have my own code if you wanted to use it. I mean, otherwise you can just use the ones already like in there, the gorgeous you. And they both give you 30. All right, so I'm gonna show a red now because I absolutely love this color. And I have her in four Raquel Welsh wigs, I have a problem. I need to step away from like this one red and try the other ones. I really need to give, what is it, the Ice Pumpkin Spice another try because the one time that I got it, the wig itself was like defective. And so I was like, oh, I don't like the color, but it was more so like the wig just wasn't working. Do I have, oh, no, I don't have Bella Vita. I actually have her on that list I was talking about though. I do have her on there, but I don't have her here right now, Margaret. Hi, Denise. Hi, Sinria. Oh, you made it finally. I say I haven't seen you the last couple of times, but you're here now. Okay, so this was the iced sweet cream. All right, so let's put on fiery copper. I absolutely love this red. I can't. Yeah, I need, what is it? I don't have cinnabar, and I also don't have a wig beyond the one that's like busted that's the um the shaded iced pumpkin latte i think is the name all right so here she is in fiery copper there is the parting space you can see this is the kind of red that i like where it's got red and blonde all mixed together and it's super pretty see there's there is the volume if you want it Hi, sweetie. Nice to see you're feeling better. Yeah, I'm getting there, Sinri. I'm not, not a hundred percent yet, but I'm, I'm trying. Okay, so there she is. I was like, this is so stunning. I love it. <laughs> Shirley says it helps to know who you're watching if you override the gorgeous you code with your favorite reviewer's name. Oh, okay. All right. Well, then I guess there you go. Um. If you're watching this and I helped you pick something out or whatever, or helped you in some capacity, then just use my name. And if Julia did it, then use Julia's. And if Haley did it, then use Haley's. Or if Marlene did it, then use Marlene's. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, thank you, Julia. I like that kind of highlights. Yes, me too, Mary. Uh, what wig is that? Anna, this is Big Spender by Raquel Welsh. I have her in fiery copper and I just had her in the iced sweet cream and then I will show her in shaded biscuit in a minute. Very pretty, says Sinria. Yes, I absolutely agree. Like, I feel like I could have a whole closet full of these. That's how I feel about this wig. Like, I absolutely could have like 20 of them. <laughs> uh, sorry, what are the discount codes? I missed the first half hour. Oh, Margaret, uh, she's saying that use the one for, like, the reviewer who is your favorite or is helping you. So, like, mine's Allison, and it gets you 30% off. Haley has hers, and it's her name. And, like, Julia has hers, and it's her name. That sort of thing. So if, like, you saw someone, you're like, oh, I bought it because I saw it on you. Like, you would use their code, and that would help them out, and it would let Shirley know that, like, they're doing a good job and that sort of thing. Oh, thank you, Laura. Uh, Laura? Uh, Shirley says, hi, Sinria, you won the $25 gift card for sharing yesterday. Can you message me your email? You're welcome, Anna. 
Haley says, looks so real, gorgeous color on you. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, I'm, I'm so obsessed with this color. Like, I can't. <laughs> I need to try some of the other reds because I just can't stop. The color looks so natural on you. Yes, thank you. See, it's crazy. Like, that's, I don't understand my skin tone at all. Like, you can go with the ice. See, like, this one here, I really love it because it looks super natural on me. Also, so this is the shaded cappuccino and you can see that next to me it looks perfect it looks like this like like it's my hair color and then you dump the red in in it and it looks just the same <laughs> it looks just great and so it's like okay so is it ashy or is it warm and it's it's almost like it doesn't matter for for me and I'm, I think the more people branch out and try stuff they've never tried before they'll also realize like oh my goodness I actually really love reds or I really love blondes or I really love like unrooted platinum like because a lot of people at first think that's crazy i like i only want to do what i'm used to which i mean i get everyone has their own sort of comfort zone especially when it comes to hair loss but there are times when if you're getting bored or you're just kind of like i don't really like this wig i don't know why i've been wearing it forever and now i'm unhappy with it try something out of your comfort zone try something red try something Blonde. Try something short. Try something long. Curly. Just mix it up a bit. So this is Big Spender again, and this is in Shaded Biscuit. Same cap construction, everything as before. Because only, the only thing that I can tell you is that since not having hair anymore, and not having to deal with the kind of hair that I had before, which is problematic, like, all the way around. I love having hair at this point when it comes to wigs because I can just change it. Not It doesn't cost, like, a ton. Like, when you go to the salon, cut and color and, you know, like, keratin treatments or, you know, all of that. It's so much cheaper to just buy, like, two or three different wigs. <laughs> and then you can change it all the way around. Thank you, Margaret. Is it just Allison or Allison 30? Oh, and what wig and color is that one, please? Denise, mine is just Allison, just A-L-L-I-S-O-N, and it gets you 30% off. And this one, the last one was Big Spender by Raquel Welsh in Fiery Copper, and this one right here is the same. It's Big Spender in Shaded Biscuit. I think you look great in all colors. Oh, thank you, Carolyn. Thank you, Susan. Uh, yes. Beverly says, I love that one. Yes, me too. Amen, Allison, says Vicki. <laughs> yes, agree, says Margaret. Yes. Okay, so here she is. Super, super pretty. All right, so let's see. I've done... So do people want to continue for, for right now? Do you want to continue seeing Raquel Welsh or do you want to do Beltress now? Okay, so only Julia is Julia 30. Everyone else is just their first name. Okay, thank you for clearing that up, Shirley, because I wasn't sure. I just said it was just Julia, but no, it's Julia 30. I agree. I've been wearing wigs for 40 years. Oh, wow, Carolyn. Yeah, so like I said before, the first time I ever wore a wig, I was 18, and but then it wasn't like a daily all the time sort of thing. It was just for, I like ruined my hair and had to cut it all the way off and was just waiting for it to grow out. And so I went ahead and wore a wig. It was, my first one was actually, the, it was a John Renault. Um, I don't remember what the name of it was. But it was in that the chocolate truffle or something was like dark, which is interesting because I didn't, I don't have dark, you know. Uh, so I'm going back to curly girly. Would you think I'd be better in alabaster or cinnamon? Hmm. Both of them I have. <laughs> uh, I think you'd look great in both, Martha. Like, honestly, I think... I think the alabaster might be a little more out the comfort zone because it doesn't have a root, but I think you'd be most happy immediately with the glazed cinnamon for sure. So depending on that, I would I would say comfort zone is going to be the glazed cinnamon and then maybe a little outside of your comfort zone would be the alabaster. 
Shirley says she votes for cinnamon. <laughs> so the discount code is only for regular priced wigs. Um, I know there's different uh, discount codes for everything. Obviously, the best price would be for like if you're doing like a bell trust, you can get like 35% off or whatnot with those and you use those codes. Um, my discount code will only get you 30% off just in general. I think if you were to override a different one, then yeah. 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 Shirley says, yes, code will not work on super discounted items. So like the um, Beltress Warehouse one, it won't work for that. They're already discounted. Hi, Andy. How am I feeling? I'm doing a little bit better. Not quite there all the way. I don't know if anyone's noticed, but like my eyeball here is like red and the other one's not. Apparently that's something that happens when you have COVID and I had no idea. Like, it's not pink eye, it doesn't hurt, or it's not dry, it just is red for no reason. That and I have, like, no appetite and whatnot still, so I don't know. I'm not congested anymore. I don't have, like, bubbles in my ears. And it's, I'm not, like, super exhausted, but I'm not, like, up to snuff. Like, if I had to run up the stairs, it would be bad. I would be like out of breath and every once in a while like cough or something but that's about it martha says uh cinnamon is gorgeous thank you yes i that i think you like that one the most absolutely martha also we are not allowed to use the codes for henry margu and they watch very cof, co uh, carefully Jeez. okay okay no one answered me <laughs> okay okay so guys no one answered do you want raquel welsh or do you want to go to bell dress Otherwise, I'm just going to pick something. Oh, the first thing that happened to me was my eye turned red in the corner. I guess I did have COVID again, says Shirley. Yeah, like, you see this? Like, you can see it. Like, my eyeball looks, like, super, super green and blue because it's so red. And then when you look at this one, oh, hold on. Oh, my goodness. They're, like, both turning red at this point. <sighs> Look, they don't hurt. They don't hurt. It's just, they're kind of scary looking, I think. Oh, so sorry, Allison. No appetite. What's that? Uh, Andy, I don't need to lose any more weight. I already did it. I'm good. I just, it, it doesn't at this point because of the way that I eat. So I eat, I'm in like a catodic state all the time when I do carnivore. So I have not very many fat stores left on me. So if I can't eat, then it starts breaking down other stuff and it doesn't need to do that. Like I have the kind of like body fat content at this point that if I sit there sometimes you can see like all the veins in my arms poke out and you can see like the um, musculature if I move my arm and stuff because I don't have very much fat left everywhere. So it's kind of, it becomes a problem at that point. All right. So Sinria says Raquel Welch, Beltress. Raquel Welch, exactly what I had. Okay, Shirley, yeah. Maybe you did then, yes. Okay, so I've seen more for Raquel Welsh. Uh, let's see, Raquel Welsh, Raquel, yeah. Okay, okay, lots of Rachel, okay. All right. Just kind of scoot this over here. So in the meantime, let's see, I've got other boxes over there. I can go get them, that's no problem. All right, so this right here is another fiery copper. <laughs> Sorry, this is going to be like a repeating sort of thing. So this is my Simmer Elite, and I bought this before I was with Shirley, and I've been with Shirley now for like, I think it's like five months, five or six months, something like that. Wow, that looks scary. Sorry. Um, so full monofilament, lace front, ear to ear. It has velvet lines, and the reason I said that is because I'll show you how nice the fibers look, and I bought this one in March of last year, so almost a year old right here. So this is hand tied all through here, just like the other ones. So um, it's like partially hand tied, and then this is close wefted, extended velvet nape here, and it has the Velcro adjusters, and then the straps are hidden within the cap, so you don't have to worry about them. Yes, I do have like edgy Rachel's. Yes, I do. I had long COVID, couldn't smell or taste, which is so weird. Still can't smell. And I had it in Christmas of 2020 too. My goodness, Mary, that's, that's a long time of not smelling. So 
I'm going to say right here that Simmer Elite and probably this, the regular Simmer, I don't have a regular Simmer. Maybe I'll ask for one so I can like compare for you guys if this is like something you guys really, really want. Is that this is a really easy throw and go. Like you see, I put it on and that's it. It's not in my face. And you can see here are the fibers. I've never heat treated it. I don't think I've ever washed her either. But she do she doesn't stink and the fibers are good still. You can see there's no fraying. Let me see, get up in there. Yeah. So there's no fraying and it's still super soft. And you can see the wig is still behaving itself. This is also one where you can pull it back if you want just a little bit. And it's got really nice movement in the hair here. And because of the monofilament, if I wanted to change it, I can. Another recover. I'm I meant. Oh, oops. Where'd it go? I meant that I don't know what no appetite means because I'm always hungry, says Andy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Shirley says that's what happened to her daughter the first time she had COVID. Goodness. I've had COVID, I think, twice. I think this is my second time. And the first time, I didn't lose my sensation of or the smell or anything. That would have really, like, bothered me because... I like wearing perfume and I had just the first time I had gotten sick had bought like an exorbitant amount of perfume and I was like if I can't smell like what I just bought I'm gonna be very upset <laughs> so um how long have you been doing carn carnivore Penny I've been doing carnivore since August of 2023 so I, I'm over a year at this point what is carnivore? Carnivore is like the most extreme kind of keto diet. I don't eat plant food um, because I can't deal with it. I have a ton of autoimmune disorders and unfortunately because I had celiac disease that was um, undiagnosed for so many years and my gut permeability went down and the, you know, blood brain barrier and stuff getting through it created all of these food intolerances. And so I can't eat things that have fiber and like cellulose because it like rips apart my digestive tract can cause tons of bloating and swelling and pain and I just I don't um do that so I eat meat I eat fat um I can eat egg yolks but I can't eat egg whites because I react to them um so like fat I use butter lard tallow that sort of thing um I eat a lot of beef which I get um pasture raised like pasture raised grass finished grass uh fed the entire time and I get it like 70 30 so there's like a ton of fat in it and I don't eat pork unless it's been pasteurized as well because I react to regular pork um so I eat Iberico or past or pasteurized heritage breed pork I'm okay with that I eat regular chicken as long as it's been pasteurized as well there's something about the cross uh, reactivity of proteins like when a chicken will eat like wheat and corn and stuff like that just like pork that when i eat it i react to it if that makes sense and it's just i'm just so over it with the migraines and the skin flares and the uh, digestive issues i just don't deal with it very well so i just completely take it out and because of that i'm in a catodic sort of situation all the time uh yes I do take vitamin D. Yes, I take extra because I, all, I am like genetically predisposed to not being able to keep up my levels normally. So I do take quite a bit extra. I think I take like a thousand milligrams or something every day. I'd have to get the bottle. Uh, Shirley says on a carnivore diet, you can eat red meat, poultry, fish, and eggs. The diet excludes all produce as well as grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds. There you go. Shirley, you're 100% right. Yes, I do eat fish. I eat shrimp. I make mahi-mahi. Um, I eat barramundi, which is a sea bass, a lot. Um, and salmon. I really like salmon. Does anyone know how the Simmer Elite Cap versus Pretty Please yeah, I don't think I have that one. I can go look. I've been pretty lucky so far. I haven't had COVID. Oh, good. That's very good, Andy. The diet sounds hard. No vegetables. It's really not hard because um, eating vegetables causes me pain, like really bad. So I just avoid it because I don't want to be in pain. First time I lost sense of taste and smell for about three months. Oh my goodness, Shirley. That's so much. So, so long. Uh... 
I've been keto since 2018, not quite carnivore all the time. Yeah. I did lion diet in the very beginning, though, which is basically just beef, salt, and water. That's it. Sounds like my troubles doctors for years can't find food that works. Yeah, that's why I ended up here, Sinria. I actually used to be vegan before, and it created all the problems, to be completely honest. Made everything worse. Uh, only had one. You're welcome, Dolores. Do you have to buy your meat at a butcher, or can you get it at a regular grocery store? So I buy in bulk from the regular grocery store. So from, um, I go to Publix, I go to Costco. That's where I get most of my stuff. I do sometimes order from a, a pasture that's local here called um, White Oak Pastures. And actually, that's where the cup is from. Because I actually took my kids there, seeing White Oak Pastures in Bluffton, Georgia. I actually took my kids there so they would know, like, farm to table, what that means exactly. And so it was like... Um, really kind of eye-opening I mean they didn't like they have an abattoir instead of like a slaughterhouse so this is kind of a weird <laughs> weird conversation for wigs but I get it they have an abattoir instead of a slaughterhouse and I didn't take the kids there so they didn't see that part but they were like here's the cows in the past year you're eating the cows here you can see them being raised and stuff and they kind of made the connection that way as opposed to taking them into the other room Nobody would ever know you have all these allergies. Yeah, Andy, yeah. So I know I put, um, what is it, pictures up before of what my hair looked like before I lost it all, and I was much larger, and that's because when I, so when you have celiac disease that's been um, undiagnosed, one of two things happens. You either put on a ton of weight because your body still wants to be alive and needs the nutrients, so it tells you you're hungry all the time, so you eat, 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 eat. The other thing is that you you lose a ton of weight because you're going to the bathroom all the time. And so you have like your skeletal or super obese. I became super obese. And so after I cut everything out, I lost a ton of weight because I was finally getting the nutrients in. I cannot digest nutrients. Can you? Yeah, I'm kind of in that. It's the same sort of thing, Sinria. Yeah, or have a difficult problem with a lot of stuff. I have methylation issues and um, yeah. I have to take specific kinds of vitamins because otherwise I can't take it. I can't get it and it's I have to like avoid all kinds of additives. It's a lot of food sensitivities. I eat some of it anyways. Yeah, my brother has that. He actually has the, the esophageal something where it causes constriction and your esophagus and he's supposed to avoid stuff and then he doesn't. So okay. back back to course. Okay, so I'm going to go through whoop, this stack. I've got another one right here. All Raquel Welch. Okay. All righty. Okay, here we go. All right. I already, already read that. All right, so I'm going to start here. This one here is, these are all going to be Raquel Welsh now. So this is, this is called Sheik It Up, and this is in Shaded Eggplant. So this one has a basic machine cap with a little bit of a monofilament crown, so like right here. And it has the same sort of silicone down the edges here, an extended velvet nape and Velcro adjusters, and velvet lined ear tabs. So here's this pretty color. This one is, I think, not heat safe. Yes, it is 100% mod acrylic, so it is not heat safe. All right, so she is, yes, this is Chic It Up. She's got some bangs here that you can put to the front, or you can put them up if you wanted to the side like that, or you could part it also. And she's got quite a bit of volume up here on the top. But long enough to cover everything for sure. So it's a pretty color. When they say eggplant, I think purple. But this is, 
it's definitely not purple. It's more like, if you can see it like this, it's more like a copper for sure. Cute, says Sherry or Sheree. Is it Sherry or is it Sheree? Just make sure I say it right. Shake and go, easy care, great style, says Julia. Yeah, no, I absolutely believe that, yeah. This is a super, just plunk it on and you're ready to go. Just kind of run your hand through it just a little bit. together here all right so this one oh this is mine I bought this one <laughs> okay so this is boost and this is in glazed fire look at that super pretty it's like sherry oh, okay all right sherry so this one here this one is full machine cap so a machine cap is open wafted and stretchy like there's a lot of stretch there it has these are the ear tabs. You can barely see them because of how much hair they sewed on or they had sewn on so that it makes it realistic. But it does have where you can mold them for sure. And it has a little bit of an extended nape here, but it's not lined or anything. And it does have the Velcro adjusters. Yeah, so I bought this one <laughs> for myself, actually. So she's got kind of a lot going on. You can take her to the side here if you want, like this. It's also where you can pull it down on the side like that also. And I think I have like this wrap thing that I wear with her because I find it super cute. Like this is just so adorable. Super cute, says Sandra. Yes. No, this one is also not heat safe too. This is mod acrylic fiber as well. But she's just a super cute easy to wear style and here you can see there's quite a bit of length there so you can part it on the side you can see how cute that is i love the bright color. Yes, exactly, Julia. Yes, the color is just like, Pow! I love it. I, can, I just, I can't get over reds. Every time I see them, I'm like, yes. <laughs> Sonora says, love the color. Yes, absolutely. Shake It Up and Booster, not on the website. They may have been discontinued or just out of stock in too many colors. Oh, okay, okay. Love that color. So this one, however, the color does come in other styles. I do know that. I can take these out of the rotation if you'd like, Shirley. Here we have, okay, limelight. I know I have this one in two colors, that's for sure. I never took a tag off this one, really? Okay, well, so I've got limelight, which is a longer style. This is Rusty Auburn, and then I have her in Shaded Biscuit also. What color was it? It was Glazed Fire. Yes, Sherry and Sunria, it was Glazed Fire, yes. That one comes in other wigs, though, for sure. I do know, because I've, I've looked at them, yeah. There's one called, like, star quality i think or was it there's one of them that's longer where it's like comes to about right here with like some fringe that one comes in it too and i have looked at that one so monofilament lace front all the way here to the velvet lined ear tops that are moldable this right here is all open wefted and it has an extended velvet nape and velcro adjusters you like the wig terry yeah there should be one that's similar to it i can when I make that list for Shirley about ones that I think you guys will like, I will look at ones that are similar to the Boost. That way I can find something comparable that's at least on the website the whole time. Alright, so this one is Rusty Auburn. So you can see, she's kind of been in the box for a minute. Limelight wig, there you go, $286.79. So let me see if I can make her not look so crazy. It's a teaching moment. Sometimes when wigs um, stay in the box for a bit, they get what's called box hair. And sometimes that can be where they just look a hot mess or they can come out where they're a little, almost like misshapen, kind of like, um, 
like they just need to be played with a little bit and sometimes you'll have the fibers are crimp the wrong way but that's not really the case here I think this is just kind of a little bit just a little bit messy looking All right, it's a little better. There we go, see now she's pretty. <laughs> this one just, just takes a second sometimes. How to stop the hairs from going into the cap, I'm having lots of trouble. So I have that where it happens too, Teresa. Um, I haven't found a way to stop it, but I will show you how to fix it because if I remember correctly, this one has some popping back through. Assuming you can see it yeah so sometimes you'll do you will have where like right here you can see this where I'm turn to the side you can see where it's come out like this here uh, find my... oh there it is the best thing that I've found is using a comb that looks like this so it has where you can like grab it with these hook right here so what I do is that you can see here's the part you have to figure out from which weft is it coming out of and you can see it's right here where it's kind of spiraled out of this one right here so what i do is i turn the cap like this so i can see inside of it and then i can now spot the hairs which are in this is difficult to show here where i can spot when i look in with my eyes where it is and then i take this with the hook part I will hold it find the spot where it is and I will go through the back of the wig and find it you come through here through through the wefting right and you grab the hair with the hook piece and then you pull it all the way through hopefully you were able to see that so here is the piece that I just fixed you can see it's it's gone now there's some single ones coming through that but, but that big piece is gone now. So that's that's how I do it. Uh, I miss the perimeter of the wig lightly with water and comb them away. I love the one you're wearing. Oh, thank you, Margaret. Shirley says she uses a crochet hook. Yes, yeah. You're very welcome, Teresa. Love this one, says Kathleen. So this one was limelight and it was in rusty auburn. Very pretty. Okay, here's the longest one that I have. This is Stay the Night and this is in fiery copper. Um, there you go. Again. <laughs> There's just a, a thing, a thing about it. That's all I have to say. It's such a pretty color. So it's the same as the Flying Solo cap. If you were here from before and you're still like um, watching. So it has the lace front and part here. And it has like a silicone ear tab. These ones are, they are moldable, but it's right here. I can feel the line. You can see it here in the shadow. There you go. This right here where you can see it is this double lined hand tied area again. So you can like ignore the part if you want. I, I do sometimes. And then you have a different kind of cap here. So this entire thing is hand tied up until just here. So this is the only part where there's wefting. So unlike the other one where the weftings came up to here, this one has like this much more hand tied. And then it has the extended, or. Er, it's just a little bit extended, not terribly, with the with the uh, vel excuse me, silicone, and then the Velcro adjusters and the hidden adjuster straps. So this wig, in my opinion, as you can see where I've got them here, it is large. It runs large, and it's kind of odd to put on. It wants to like stop on the top of my head so I always have to kind of like fight with it a little bit 
and then once I get it on there, then it's good. But it's kind of difficult to put on as it wants to grip the top of your head as you're trying to pull it over. Will this fit a 22? Oh yeah, Amy, definitely. This will definitely fit a 23 inch head. Absolutely. So here is the length on her. She has got a bit more density than some of the other Raquel Welsh wigs, but it's not terribly bad. I would say that this is like a person with a thick head of, of natural hair. Like I would say that that's about where it, it is for me. Um, this is also a wig that you can put up and I've done it several times. Um, you look gorgeous and stay that. Oh, thank you so much, Julia. Beautiful, says Sandra. So this one, you can pull it back and you can see as I'm holding it about how big my, about how much it is. It's like, it's like this much when you put it together. So it's, it's a good amount. I love styling the long wigs, says Haley. Yes, that's one of the best parts about having them long like this for sure. So let me see. I don't think I have a hair tie in here, but I will just do the flippy thing and just kind of show you. The other thing you can do is if you don't want to flip it, you can literally just put your head back. And because of the hand tied portions of this wig, you can lean back and all of the hair will situate backwards. And then you can use this and pick it like this, or you can flip it. Oh, where's my bat? <laughs> you can flip it. Make sure I've got it all. Yeah. And you can have it up if you want. Obviously. I need to adjust where it's sitting real quick. But you can see you can put it up. See, I've got that thing with their lace front, not wanting to lay on this one, but you could put it up if you wanted. Obviously not like this, <laughs> but it is definitely something you can do. So you can, you can get a lot of volume in there too, like so. A little more messy to look natural. Does she come in a gray or salt and pepper? Yes, Kathleen, she does. Uh, can you, you can braid the hand tied ones so beautiful and comfortable. Yeah, you, yeah, definitely for sure. Because with the hand tied, um, the movement allowed with the hand tied parts and like a monofilament, you can absolutely get in there and do that for sure. Because it moves like it's attached to a scalp. Yes. All right. So I have black tie chic. This is going to be like the edgy one. I have her in two colors. So this right here is black tie chic and I have her first in golden russet. So this one here has the same kind of cap construction as the big spender does. So it has a full monofilament with a lace front that goes ear to ear and extended um, no, excuse me, velvet lined multiple ear tabs. It has the silicone all the way to grip your head an extended velvet nape here and the Velcro adjusters. So this is going to be like a, or this, this is a shag. So you can see she wants to go right in the face at first, but you can easily do anything that you want with her due to the monofilament crown. So you can put her to the side, get her a little bit out of the face, but this is definitely one where you could, shake your head around and get like the same kind of real shaggy look if you wanted to like this for sure you could have a really full fringe in the front if that if you are somebody who likes a full fringe this wig already wants to go that way and then you could just have her cut to your preference length so you can see the length on her is not bad. It's also just long enough where you could do something with it if you wanted to. Oh, you love, oh, you love it on me? Thank you, Andy. She's super cute, I think. Super easy to wear. She's definitely a throw and go. So this is Golden Russet, and then I have her in Shaded Hazelnut. I'm just, actually, I'm going to turn her inside out. Oh, that's a 
another lime white. I'll do that in just a second. There we go. Black tie chic and shaded hazelnut. So this is going to be a nice brown one. Same situation as before. Uh, Sharon says, can you show some things I don't want? I want like five of these already. <laughs> oh, okay, Sharon. <laughs> what, what do you not want? <laughs> Dolores says, very pretty. How do you store your wigs, says Sandra. Okay, so that is a multiple choice answer. Um, so a lot of the time I store them in the box. So out here in the sunroom where I have a lot of, like, I call them show wigs. So I don't really, like, wear them anywhere. I keep them here to reference for you guys. And then, of course, the wigs wear sh their Shirley's and they come through just for wig parties. They never leave this room. And so, like, the hairdo, they're just, like, chilling here. Um, they stay in their boxes. All of the ones you see stacked up, they stay in their boxes. If, if they're mine which some of them are brands that Shirley doesn't have, so I can't really like show them. I just kind of put them in, I kind of either keep them in their box or I put them in like a storage bag for wigs, kind of like, like I know Shirley has storage bags, but sometimes like this, if there's like a bulk bag kind of like this, like Shirley sells them, I know that she does, I just don't have one yet, where um, like this one, for instance, you can fit four wigs in it. I simply taco them up like I do like, like this is a one of the wigs I, I wore out when I got sick so I just kind of threw it in here but it is where I take it like this and I say taco so I put the long piece inside the cap and then I hold it like this and then I put it in the bag and then I've got four in the bag and um, otherwise they're in their boxes sometimes they're in a plastic bag depending on what's going on. So I would put them in like a large Ziploc bag and then I can store them like that so nothing touches them. If it's a human hair wig, I keep them in a silk like hair thing. What color is this one please? This is this one right here, Laura, is shaded hazelnut. Thank you. I'm new to this, Sandra. No, you're welcome. I'll show you the one for human hair. So I'm not quite sure what kind of wigs you have exactly so this is technically i used this when i still had hair and i had really long hair so it was like down here and this is like a sleeping silk thing there's actually still if you could see the color i had i had neon hair and so there's still some neon yellow on there but it is a silk sleeping cap for long hair and i put my wigs in there this is human and so that it's not going to get all messed up like that and I also like taco them and then thank you for being with us Allison has awesome wig knowledge so ask any questions you have yes yes exactly and so here's an actual sleeping bonnet because there's another wig in here and then there's just another one free floating in here so that way they're not like on top of each other tang tangling themselves up and stuff but it's an another sleep bonnet that is all silk and then I have the other wig in here because this is this is human as well so they're in here and that way they're all safe and sound and they're not going to get all snaggly and angry at each other but i put that one on top of the one on the bottom and then this is a milano one that uh, shirley is actually going to be selling some of these i know she said there's going to be more coming to show but this is one that i bought on my own before working with shirley and like it's an amazing wig and i put her in here too so that they're all safe and sound without getting their fibers messed up. So I, I hope that helps. Really cheap ones I put in a garbage bag too, like the Bobby Boss and stuff that I've showed. She is honestly amazing, so glad we have her. Oh, thank you so much, Teresa. Yeah, I love coming on here and being able to help you guys. Like, honestly, I look forward to it, and I, I spend so much time, like, honestly, creating content and answering questions and um, doing lives, obviously, but I really absolutely do actually enjoy it. Like, I love being able to help you guys, and I I think if I had to stop doing it, I would be very upset, like, honestly. So here is another limelight, and this one here is in Shaded Biscuit again. So I will put her on, it's the same as before, full monofilament, open wefted, 
velvet ear tabs, extended velvet nape, and Velcro adjusters. Uh, Sandra says, I just received my first one from Shirley because of these shows. Oh, wow, Sandra, which one did you get? Which, what was your first wig from Shirley's? So here we are. This is the Limelight in Shaded Biscuit. Yes, exactly. Welcome to the group, exactly, Sandra. Yeah, any questions you have at all? Like, I, if I can't answer them, I'll, like, research it and then come back, like, for sure. So, yes, this is Limelight. She is very low density. Um, there's not a ton of hair here. So if you are somebody who wants a longer wig but is afraid of it being, like, too much and you feel like you're going to like this, th this is really not a lot of hair at all. There's almost like, I'm gonna say there's almost like no hair because of how like little density it is. It's extremely low density. But that is where you can put it up if you want or twist it around. Limelight is stunning, says Julia. Yes, no, I agree. But I mean, she's extremely lightweight, low density, if somebody, is really unsure about having long hair but wants to try it this would definitely i think this would be great for summertime because of how low density it is for sure yeah so i just taco them up each time because for me the longer ones in particular i will put them in there so the fibers um don't get all messed up other ones that are shorter I tend to fold them in on themselves so like they're inside out so the fibers are all pointing towards each other and so they don't get messed up in that capacity. Let's see. Shirley, do you have a fierce and, uh, fierce and focused on your website? Does Limelight come in iced sweet cream? Um, you'd have to look on the site. If I click like on the link myself, I'm not sure what will happen. So I don't want to click anything and like leave the live or something you you think so okay all right well this is fierce and focused and this is in the color i uh shaded iced java so this is going to be a darker brown if i remember correctly this says four slash ten shaded yes so here we go yes definitely darker so this is going to be a darker one she's a short one obviously as well and she has a nice cap also. Oh, okay, yes. All right. So she has got a lace front from ear to ear. You can see it right here. This entire thing right here is a hand-tied top. So it's not a monofilament, but because it's all hand-tied, you can part it and move it however you want. This has also got velvet ear tabs that are moldable and there's wefting that is closed right here. There's like a triangle right here. So that is where the hair is sewed in there. And then you have this entire strip here that is also hand tied again. So from here to here, it's all hand tied. And then you've got where it's got wefting again, but it's all closed. So you don't have to worry about the hairs coming back and getting you. This is an extended velvet nape and this Velcro adjusters with the hidden adjuster straps. So this color, you can see it is dark, but it's got some highlights in there. So it's not just super, super dark. And you can see my hand underneath when I move it. That's what it looks like when it's hand tied. So it will give an illusion of scalp. Okay, yes, Shirley does have this wig. So she is more on the spiky side, but she's cute can move the hair around like see there's you can see part it for you there's the like uh hand tied top there so you can move it all around if you want got a nice piece here on the side to frame the face if that's what you want you can also take the bangs down So you can see they're kind of long. They're actually in my eyes. So you can trim it if you want, or you could swoop it off to the side. So you can go up. You can bring it down if you don't want that much volume. 
You can see how nice that is. This cap is really comfortable. I have to say that all of the ones where I've showed where they're even like partially hand tied, they're really quite comfortable. Love that one, says Chandra. Good. I absolutely love your knowledge of wigs. It's like having another Shirley. I just love it. Not to mention all the other knowledge you have about the gut. You amaze me in such a good way. Love your lives. I've put you on my favorites. Could you, could you tell me a human wig to try that's not not very expensive. I want to try one plus which brand is one of your favorites and why. Thank you. Okay, Denise. Thank you so much. I have to say is like, I'm, I'm so happy that you feel like you can say like, you finally, I'm so knowledgeable and that I'm helping you because that's all I really want to do is help you guys out. Like, honestly. So I'm so glad that my, my information really helps you so much. And so let's see. Um, a human wig to try that's not very expensive. Okay, so there are different ranges of human hair wigs, and some of them because I've not, uh, story time. Okay, so I've bought my own human hair wigs. I have two John Renaults, and those are like MSRP of like four grand each. Those are not cheap. They are good hair quality, that's for sure. And um, then there's the Milano that I bought, which is a different kind of hair quality. It wasn't, it wasn't as expensive. It itself was about $1,800. Um, and then I've got one here that's um, a brand that Shirley has. Um, I, meant, I meant to talk to you about that one again, uh, Shirley. Um, that one, I, if I had to guess, its price range would be around two grand, probably, at least. But that's at the like seller's discretion um, for Shirley anyways. Um, and I have where, I don't know if you've heard of Wig She, right? So Wig She actually reached out to me and wanted me to do a collab with them. And I said, okay, sure. I picked out a wig and I actually gave them two options. Um, I sent them an email and then uh, they said they will send me a different one when I did not pick. Even though they asked me to pick it. So I get this wig. I take it out of the box. It's a train wreck, okay? It smelled, its lace was falling off. Um, it like had holes in the lace, its ear tab was ripped off. And I told them like, there's all these issues wrong with it. I'd like to review them correctly. Maybe it's defective sort of thing. And so they said, okay, well, um, we'll send someone to come pick it up from FedEx because they had literally just dropped it off. I say it gave it to them the next morning, and um, then I started getting these calls from them saying, like, where's the wig? Like, well, I don't have it. Or emails, but FedEx was literally calling me. I said, you guys have it. I read them off the um, confirmation code for when they pick it up and everything, and they then tell me that the sender, which was Wig She, had decided to destroy the package instead of send it back to China. So, and they said, oh, we didn't do that. That was Wig She saying that they didn't do it after FedEx told me that they're the ones that said to do it. So I would not suggest, in my opinion, buying wigs that are human hair from Chinese vendors because um, I feel like there's a lot of discrepancy on what, what you get from them. Some people say, oh, they're the best things I've ever gotten. Some people really love their Wig She wigs. And then that happens. So I don't have any sort of information about super cheap ones that are like $400 where people have said that they also like them or they're $800. I think it would be best to start with a reputable brand as far as human hair goes. So like Milano is not too expensive. I know you can get like a hat wig from them for like $700. And that's only two or $300 more than what wig she wanted for their hat wigs. And so... Um, and then you have, of course, the ones that are made by the main brands, I'll, uh, like the John Renault. I know that that's one of the most expensive ones, but it's because I got a super long one because uh, that's my problem. I like long hair. So I will show you the Milano one real quick, and then I'll show you the John Renault. So this is the Milano one. Like I said, it was about $1,800. But if you don't get this super long one, it won't be as expensive. This is one of their hat wigs, meaning you can hat wigs, ponytail wigs, so I can put it all the way up and wear a top knot if I want. Oh my goodness, I was like blabbering and not listening. Oh no, you're okay, Denise. I agree with Denise, you are a real asset, Shirley's team. Oh, thank you so much, Elizabeth. 
Oh, Shirley says, I guess I won't be carrying wig sheet. Yeah. Oh, yep. Oh, God, what a nightmare with wig sheet. You're telling me. I reached back out to them being like, hey, are we still doing this? Like the collab? And they ghosted me. So I don't, I don't know what to say about it. Yeah, that's terrible, says Denise. Exactly. So this one has a super nice cap, as opposed to the wig sheet, which was, they, I asked them for a full lace one, and they told me they wouldn't do that, even though I have, like, no hair, and that's usually what that's made for. So this has a freedom lining. So this is velvet, so it's very, very comfortable. And you can see here, kind of like, um, if you were here for the very beginning, the um, fake skin part that you have on the hairdo here, it has the same sort of, um, like, paper or or I think it's a fabric. It's a fabric that looks like scalp. So you have where if you part it in the center, you don't have to worry about that. It has a lace front that comes pre-cut, unlike other lace frontal wigs where you have to cut them yourself. This is a velvet lined ear tab also. And this is all clothes wefted and it's stretchy. It has, these are the, it has the hook and eye. And then this is also velvet on the extended nape here. So I got this one, it was called black i think this is 26 inches it's called soft black with balayage so it was one of their ones where it came already like pre-done for you and so this has a lot of hair there's quite a bit of density in here as you can see and i've got hair stuck okay well i'm just gonna deal with that so you dodged a bullet, right, Elizabeth? <laughs> Continue, please, says Kathleen. Oh, okay, <laughs> I've got people's interest. Okay, so this right here, as you can see, it's quite, quite long. It goes all the way down to here. I did tell them when I wanted it with a center part, so they put this in for me, so I didn't have to do it. They also curled the wig, which has fallen a bit since I've not really done anything with it. But as you can see, here's the comb. It's, this is definitely hair. This is, um, it, it's not as soft as some hair would be. It's not that it's not soft. This is a more coarse hair. I would say it's probably Chinese or something like the actual hair, maybe where they sourced it, but the brand itself is not Chinese. It's American. So they have where they actually have a salon you can go to in like Florida. And I think there's like another one, um, somewhere else i'm not sure if it's like phoenix or something and um so here so this wig i don't have a hair tie i have one somewhere and i just can't find it but i will show you that you can pull it up and it looks natural in my opinion obviously i have the center part put in there and i've got a couple hairs under the lace is why it looks like that but you can take this hair and go all the way up in a ponytail or a bun and wear it like this and i have done that before so you can see it comes down enough on the sides here yeah i think this is 26 inches yes and it comes they have like where you can customize colors too there's like strawberry blonde copper there's ice blonde there's they have grays they have Un, uncolored ones stuff like that so there's a whole bunch of options and they have different kinds of caps and you can customize the sizing and the color and the cut and all these other stuff it's like a full service wig salon but you buy it like this if that makes sense so you're literally like customizing your own hair wow says Sandra yes hi hi Joe tech support is here We've been going pretty good so far. No creepers. So this one here I will show also. This is the John Renault. This is a Kim. And I think on Shirley's website it's like it's like $2300 or something. It's it's a lot. And so I'm not I'm not going to say it's not expensive because it is. But this is like um I think it's also like I don't remember what the length is. Maybe also 26 to 30 something like that it's very long this one comes in all of the almost all the john renault colors but this is part of their natural selection so it's like a it's called n or excuse me 4rn which means natural um 
four or something like that. Wow, that velvet helps it kind of stay on like the bands do. Thank you. Yes, yes, it absolutely does. And I paid extra for that, but it was it's well worth it. All right, so this one right here has a cap that is, it looks more similar to like the synthetic wigs that you see and things that are similar to other John Renault wigs. So it has a monofilament uh, crown here, lace front, all hand tied though, completely, 100%. There's no wefting in here. It has an extended velvet nape with Velcro adjusters hidden and hidden adjuster straps. So I will put her on for you. So this hair quality feels different than the Milano. This is more fine, if it makes sense, um, as opposed to the Milano being a little thicker. And I've also had these ones curled too. And they, as you can see, have more fallen. So if you have a thicker, coarser sort of hair, it tends to hold the curl better. So if you're somebody who likes curling your hair, a Milano wig is perfect for that. This is some for somebody who wants a, like a straighter <laughs> hairstyle for most of the time, or something that's gonna change it up a little bit. But you can see this one's got, it's more like silky, sort of like airy, if that makes sense. It's lower density. Is it half real hair and half synthetic? No, this one is 100% um, human, Joe. It's showing some of the human hair wigs she owns. Yeah, these are also available on Shirley's website and because somebody was asking about human hair. Um, I would say, honestly, so I will show the one, the one other one that I have from Shirley. And then I will explain. That's not it. Where'd you go? I will explain. So there's pros and cons to all of them. Um, I would say, I mean, obviously the cost is they're more expensive, right? Um, I would say if you want something more silky and lower density, this one for sure. I haven't tried any of the other John Renault human hairs because it's kind of cost prohibitive. Um, the Milano I'm very happy with. I actually wanted to try a couple other styles with it, but like I said, it's cost prohibitive. Um, the other one here, this one you can see, Shirley sent this one, it's an eye wig by Erica Luxembourg and she, this is human hair. This is another different hair grade. So this one is like silky, and you can see where it looks very like low density and stuff. This is, has a higher density, but the hair itself is, it's, it's very, very, very soft. It is also, um, you can see how it also kind of has that same sort of like Euro hair sort of situation. This one is just much denser. And I would say this probably won't hold a curl as well as the Milano will. So this is what I was talking about where sometimes they don't come pre-cut. This is the lace where if you bought this, you'd have to pre-cut it or pay someone to cut it yourself or for you to blah, blah, blah. They'll cut it for you. This cap also has something similar to the Milano, except it is just where it's very soft. It's almost like a t-shirt material right here. And then this entire thing here is silicone. So it'll grip your head, assuming you don't have hair. And then this is all closed wefted. The ear tabs are also silicone. And then you have where the nape is silicone also. So this, if I put it on, I can show you the difference. You can see with the hair movement here, what this is like, you see it's like very low density and it moves. This was really um, similar to how dense my hair was before I lost it. I did not have a lot of hair um, it was never something that I had and I used, I would get the keratin treatments on it and so it would, um, it made it very straight and very silky like that. So I can only put this one on without something on because otherwise I can't get it on. Okay, so this one here, because of the cap you can see, here is the lace, obviously I have it on. You, there is the difference. You can see how this one has, where it looks like very healthy, thick hair as opposed to the other one, not that it didn't look very healthy or thick, but it was just a higher density on this one and the hair moves very well. And you can see with parting it, you can do that basically anywhere also. And the hair goes right back to where it's supposed to. I'd say this hair is very well behaved as opposed to the John Renault, which wants to kind of go all over the place, and the Milano is kind of stuck in its ways.
So you can see how it looks very much like scalp. But I would say that this hair is probably the highest quality out of the ones that I've got here. I have baby fine hair and fixing to shave it because it's falling off due to thyroid, can't have hormones due to having Lynch syndrome. I would prefer soft, soft, fine, real hair, but synthetic. I would love the ones that don't tangle as much if that makes sense. At least I think. Yeah. Um, okay. So Denise, I would say, I would honestly say this would be like a great beginner wig. This one in particular. Um, however, when it comes to, let's see, a synthetic that doesn't tangle too much. Um, give me a second. I got to think. Um, Synthetics are always going to tangle a bit more. Human hair is a lot softer. It's not going to, it doesn't tend to tangle as much. It's very much like, like regular hair, right? So it will tangle slightly, but it's, it's, you could keep going with it. It's not going to tangle. I would honestly say that the Lux collection from Beltress has really good not tangling synthetics and they are heat friendly as well. So if you want to straighten them or curl them, that's really good. Um, I would say they're better than the City Collection and the Cafe Collection when it comes to tangling. Um, Raquel Welsh, if they stay up here, they're pretty good about not tangling. Um, otherwise, if they get too long, they tend to want to tangle more. Uh, Ellen Villa is really good. Trezalore is really good. So those are the brands that I really go for with my own kind of wigs. I have a ton of Trezalore. Um, let's see. Yeah, anything that stays about right here, so if you were to have a synthetic wig to here, will not have as much tangling as any other length of hair. As long as, as, as soon as it gets to like here, like it's, it's, there's a ton of tangling. What is the one, is that one and the one you had on before this one? Okay, so this one right here is the iWig by Erica Luxembourg. So if you're interested in this one or a different one, I know Shirley said, she, I don't know if she's got like five or six of them or something like that, but there's this one because I haven't cut the lace on it or anything. So she has some that, the, so like I could send this one back to Shirley and you could have like this one in particular or there's other ones. Um, the one that I had on before Margaret was, uh, it was a John Renault, the Kim, John Renault Kim. What about Henry Margu? Um, so I don't have a lot of experience with, with Henry Margu. So, um, when it comes to that, I do, let's see, I can show the one that I bought for it. Let me just put her back in her back in her bag yeah the reason I don't have a ton of experience with Henry Margot is because I only have two of them here um, so I have a willow and this is in the color 88 GR so this is a lace front left side of lace part and let's see this would be let's see so there's different i would say there's like different classifications of synthetic hair this is one of the ones that it does tangle a little bit right but as you can see it brushes out relatively easy i would say that aesthetica is also on this same kind of line with this that their regular synthetics are like like they're like a workhorse in my opinion I haven't had where there was tons of fraying and snagging and stuff even on long pieces so they're really easy and doable but it's one of those things because it's not a natural sort of thing that it'll be where you have to replace it over time or if you buy a bunch of wigs then they'll last longer because then you can have them in rotation and that's what I do I have a ton of wigs that are my own and I don't they last as long as they do because I don't wear the same one over and over and over and over uh, frozen is anyone else having issues with freezing because my thing is still going I have Sydney it doesn't tangle as much as Margaret okay yeah, I have a Sydney here too. I just haven't really worn her a whole bunch. 
What was the cost of the brunette wig that was half real hair, half synthetic? Uh, so Joe, I have two that are half and half, but they're not brown. Both the ones that I showed, they were all, they were, they were the last, like, three I showed besides this one, they were all pure human, not froze. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, who was it? Let me see. Yeah, Rebecca, if you can hear me, uh, back out and come back in. Yes, freezing, I go in and out and come back, says Margaret. Oh. So some people are having freezing issues and other people aren't. Hmm. Okay. So. That's not what I wanted. Stop that. Okay. So this right here is an envy hair. This is like, I would say, honestly, this would be the most cost effective sort of situation. Uh, probably. Denise. Make sure that's the right name. Yes, Denise. I would say this is going to be the most cost effective. So this is Envy Hair. It's by Envy. This is going to be 70% um, uh, heat friendly synthetic and then 30% human, of which they tend to put most of it on the nape here so that there's less tangling when you wear it. They have multiple different styles. This is just one that I happen to have. This is Krista, and this is in the color lighter red. And she's got a full monofilament, lace front ear to ear, and as you can see, it goes all the way around the ear. And also, there is silicone here that helps to grip your head in this capacity and lay down the lace. I have a lot of wigs synthetic, but the person I had been buying from says they are her brand, but I know better. I'm Wanting the ones that don't clump up in sections, does that make sense for you if I'm taking up? No, no, you're not taking up too much of my, no, you're definitely not taking up too much time. See you on, uh, and ask questions times, I see you on Shirley or Shirley's on different lives. I've got a lot of questions even though I've been around for a minute, uh, but I've stopped buying because I just can't get it right. I don't mind buying, but I need to find the synthetic fibers I love. Oh, okay, I see. Envy has a mix of human and synthetic, right, that's what this, this is the mix of human and right and heat heat friendly oh you gotta go anna okay well thank you for stopping by you're very welcome yes i want to try this brand thank you so much okay so open wefted and as you see the wefting is very close together so there's less of a chance for hairs to pop back through even though it's not closed wefted it has an extended uh velvet nape here and velcro adjusters let me put her on because she's actually quite comfortable with that extra like silicone bit here, it really does help. And this kind of envy hair, there's multiple different styles. I actually have one that's like shorter to here also. All right, so she is very cost effective as far as a heat friendly, um, human blend because this one is if I think if I remember correctly when it comes to the 30% off it's like uh, I think like around $500 as opposed to like several thousand dollars of like pure human and there's so much hair here there's quite a bit of density um, where if you were to straighten her it wouldn't be so bulky but there's other ones where they are a different length. There's ones that are straight that already come straight. You don't have to do anything to it. There's also shorter ones. Hi, all I'm new here. How do you size the wigs to buy? Okay, Shirley. So when it comes to that, you need to take your circumference. I think I have my measuring tape. I do. Whee. Okay. <laughs> you got a measuring tape here. This is one that's like used for sewing. So you want to take, I'm going to take this off to explain it a little better. Okay, so you want to take a measuring tape around your head like this, and you'll get your circumference, and you line it up like that, and you can see how mine is almost 22. You can see it right there. It is 21 and 3 quarters. That lets me know that I am a, I am a petite average. And then you also want to go from the hairline over the, your head like this, which will give you another 
reading, which mine I already know is like 13 and three quarters also. And then you want to go from ear to ear over the top like this. And there's also other measurements you can take that help as well. Like for instance, you can go temple to temple behind like this. That's another measurement all the way. And you take it like that. You can see 15 on that. This will let you know whether you are petite or average or large. So I have my paper in here somewhere that talks about it, but that's how you measure. Why does it matter measuring the other two measurements aside from your circumference when most of the wigs are average fitting? Well, Joe, that's because if you have a large fitting, like say from here to here, and it's based on average only, if yours is large this way, then the wig won't come down to your hairline and it'll be like this and it'll be uncomfortable. You might not be able to get it over the back of your head. There won't be enough room. And if you have it where your head is very tall this way, then you'll have where the wig doesn't sit down properly, where their ear tabs, instead of stopping here, will be like up here. And so that's why if you need a large wig and you know how much room, whether it be this way, this way, or this way, you know how to do it. If you if you need, like, is also if something is way too big on you and you need a petite, that would be where you know because it's going to be like down here on you or it'll sit uncomfortably on top of your ears, that sort of thing. Oh, gotcha. Yep, there you go, Joe. <laughs> yep. I know that with some of the like Bobby Boss wigs, they're so big on me, they literally bunch right here to the point where I can't wear the wig because they're so much, but not all of them do that. Only some of them for whatever reason. You're supposed to be in here. Uh, love the this idea. Thank you so much. I'm going to go look on Shirley's site and find me one. You are so very helpful. I hate asking too much because I know ladies are on here to see the wigs. So sorry, ladies. I'm done for tonight with all the questions. Unless it's on when Allison is showing. Oh, no, you're you're totally okay, Denise. This is literally what this is for. Like, I promise. Like, I'm showing the wigs, but I'm also answering questions and being educational. That's like one of my whole things is to try and be educational and help people because that makes you guys when you're trying to find something it makes you more confident and feel like you know what you're doing and you'll be happier with your purchase as opposed to no one's helping you and you don't know what it, what you want or what you like and it's very difficult Shirley says I will go to the site okay Shirley uh see ladies even tech support has questions right <laughs> It's all good. Like, honestly, it's it's a learning experience and there's so much. Do, do Yes, Kathleen, Shirley sells petite wigs. That's correct. There's a whole section. Um, if you open the hamburger menu, you can go down and it will be there. Keep the questions. I learned so, so dang much in these lives from everyone's questions. Yep, see? Everyone loves it. I love being able to help you guys, like, honestly. We love questions, says Shirley. For every question you have, someone else probably has it too, but is too afraid to ask. So you help us all learn. Yes, exactly. Um, I know. So I have actually started taking these lives. I screen record them and I put them on my YouTube channel. And in case anyone who's watching this wants to do this, it's um, Allison Wilson 13. But if you go on YouTube and simply just search Allison Wilson wigs. It also comes up also. But if you, I've been screen recording it and putting it on YouTube so you can watch it there and ask questions if you are uncomfortable with asking questions here because I know this is public and so if anyone's uncomfortable that is an option. And I, because I've had people reach out and say that they're so happy that I did that because they're uncomfortable with watching the, watching or saying anything on here. So there is another avenue for asking me questions in particular if if there if you are feeling that way. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, so true says Deanna. Oh my god, I didn't even know Shirley sold petite wigs, says Joe. Really, Joe? <laughs> what color do you have Sydney in? Oh, right. My Sydney is in 82733H. Would you like me to pull that one out, Margaret? 
uh, Shirley says we are going to have them on our YouTube channel also. So there'll be two places you can do it. Uh, Penny says, do you have any YouTubes on carnivore? I have some. I have an Instagram that has like uh, more carnivore stuff where I kind of place them in both places. But um, I haven't done one where I talk about like why I do carnivore specifically because people have been kind of weird about it on there. It's a whole nother story. Yes, please, says Margaret. Okay. Shirley, do you have a captivating canvas in your shop? I want to make sure I don't show another wig and then you don't actually have it. All right, so while I'm waiting on that, I will put on the Henry Margu Sydney, and this is an 82733H. Joe says, if anyone you has a question, please don't feel self-conscious this group is ladies and are the best this group of ladies are the best and we love everyone absolutely absolutely are you familiar with maria emrich yes i am familiar with her stuff i actually tried making her um egg bread and i got pretty good at it her egg white bread until i realized that i couldn't handle the egg whites and then i was kind of kind of lost with that because <laughs> i can i can make it really well but i can't eat it so it has a full monofilament, lace front, it has um, the ear tabs here. See, here's this whole thing happening again. And I will show again how I fixed that. You can see the hairs po poked out. This is why I really don't like wigs that aren't closed wefted, to be completely honest. But here we are. Sometimes I've noticed when it comes to wigs, you get very crafty and it's never something, I mean, I wasn't, it wasn't that I wasn't crafty before, but there's this whole level of things you learn how to do that you didn't know before and you had no reason to start doing it. And now all of a sudden you like, you basically learn how to sew because of your wigs. <laughs> all right. So fix that. I will put her on. So she is super, super easy to wear, I think. So she's straight as opposed to the willow, which was kind of like a beach waves with a heavy bang. This is along a different line. This is very similar to the, honestly, yeah, this is very similar to like the one earlier, the sleek for the week sort of situation with it being like sh a little bit longer than shoulder length and she's got like this knot here there and untangled pretty easily though so she's like a little bit longer than shoulder length and straight she's low density also but not terribly so still like a pretty natural one I think exactly yep there you go Julia love the Sydney style natural looking 100% Oh, I want that color easy to wear, says Margaret. Yep, here she is. The lace front's pretty good. I think I've got like a hair under there. That's why, it, yep, there's a hair. But no, this is a very easy sort of, the color I would say is, it is like a dark blonde with highlights and there's a little bit of auburn in there, just a, a little bit. So it's not, it's, um, I would say it's neutral leaning warm. It's very pretty. Uh, Anne says, I love this color. I wish Candace came in this color. Beltra City Styles. Do you have one in particular you'd like to see, Rebecca, out of the City Styles? Because I've got all of them. Yes, the educational part is making this such an amazing live for me. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. Please pin that so I can go ask all the questions. It will make this so easy for me. And yes, I will help with the gut stuff as well as I have, oh, gastroparesis and Lynch syndrome. Okay. Yes. Yeah. If you have any questions about, I know it's not wig related, but if you definitely have questions, I can try and help as much as I can in that regard. Uh, Mary says she also has gastroparesis and hypothyroid and lots of things. Yeah. I have Hashimoto's. So like th uh, thyroiditis, low density, Mildly wavy, short to medium length bobs. Okay, Rebecca. Okay. 
So I'm going to say light density, mildly wavy, short to medium length, Bob. I'm going to show you Newport, Rebecca. I think that fits right in that. I know I said I was only going to do an hour and here we are at two. I don't know how that happens. All right. All right, so here is Newport and she's got a mess inside of her. I think Henry Margu is only synthetic, correct? That's correct, yeah, I think it is, as far as I know, she's literally just a, um, regular synthetic also, not like, not heat friendly. Okay, there we go. All right, so this right here is gonna be a uh, Newport. This is in Milkshake Blonde. This is a lace front that goes ear to ear, a left-sided lace part, and it is open wefted and stretchy. It has a, ex there's more hair hanging out, good Lord. Um, <sighs> extended velvet nape here and Velcro adjusters and velvet covered ear tabs. But honestly, the hair coming through, if you just like ignore it, it also doesn't like harm the wig in any sort of way. It's not like it's falling apart. It just, it's just in the cap, but it doesn't make a difference in hair density or the way it wears or even really the way it feels, especially when whole pieces come through. But here is wavy, it is low density, and it is mid-length, I would say. Short to medium length, yep. I think this fits the bill. Uh, Julia says, love Newport. It's beautiful right out of the box. E absolutely. This is one where you put it on and it's just amazing. Sorry, probably my fault. No, <laughs> you're okay, Denise. Uh, Beltress Newport in, good lord, or darker blonde brown shade. Yeah, I have it just in milkshake and then it unrooted blondes. So what do you think about this one, Rebecca? I think... This is one of my favorite styles from them. It's super easy to wear, and it's like Julia said, it's perfect right out of the box. Well, we love it. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, well, you're very welcome, uh, J.E. Your knowledge makes you feel better. <laughs> right, Laura? <laughs> I, I told you, I look forward to this, and guys, when I don't feel good and have to, like, tell Shirley, like, I feel so bad, I literally can't stay awake or something, I feel bad about having to call out, like, honestly. Uh, so cute, says Sandra, praying for safe, tra for safe travels, Rachel, or T T R A. Beautiful, says Denise. Uh... Please, if you feel oh, where is if you feel comfortable, can you message me about Lynch syndrome? I have terrible gut issues, says Joe. Can this one be pinned? Pinned. Oh, the pin. Yes, Shirley just dropped it below. Love this one, says Sandra. Love her beautiful stunning, says Denise. I agree. Sorry, that's Newport. Yes, Margaret. This one is Newport. She's super pretty, super easy to wear. Left-sided lace part. You can see even with that you can still kind of move it around a bit as I just had she comes out of the box straight away pretty similar to this and as you saw I had where I had a bit more over here because of the lace front you can get away with that so you can see how it still looks pretty reasonable because of the creative lace, lace front in there so if you want to move this around you can So you don't have to stay strict with that, and it still looks okay. I also am not mirrored and can't see where I'm going. <laughs> but there she is again. So very easy to play with, very easy to work with above the shoulders so it won't tangle or snag, that's for sure. How do we know if it's rooted on the web page? Um, Sandra, it should say like... For instance, it'll say milkshake blonde R, and that means it's rooted. 
Um, so for instance, the cake batter blonde is not rooted, so it won't say that. Like the gray one, but love this color. So the gray one isn't rooted, no. You love this color? Yes. There's only one that's lighter than this, and it's crushed almond. I have it in Calabasas, which is longer, but I can show it to you so you can see the color. So this is the lighter one. As you can see, this one's a little more dimensional. It's got like chunky pieces through it, but this one is still dimensional, but it's lighter. It does. So if you wanted something lighter, and here's the root, you can see the rooting color is definitely lighter on crushed almond blonde. So that way, if you're looking for something, but they, cause the, because the um, gray isn't rooted. Yes. All right. So now I can go back to, there's only two more Raquel Welsh that I have to show. I've got the Fierce and, what was it called? Fierce and Fabulous or Fierce and Focused, I think. Oh, ca Captivating Canvas. Wait, yes, Captivating Canvas. <laughs> That was the last one before. Which color are you wearing again? It was Milkshake Blonde, Sharon. Hello, Allison, Shirley, and Wade family. Hello, Kay. All right, so this is the next Raquel Welsh, and this is because I just forgot what it was called. It's Captivating Canvas. This one here has an extended lace front. This is a gray color for anyone wondering. Left-sided lace part. It's open wefted, quite stretchy, extended velvet nape and Velcro adjusters and velvet ear tabs. Denise says Lynch syndrome is a mutation that that tries to give you cancer so I try to watch sugars due to sugar being one of the number one contributors to cancer. Yeah, yep, yep, cancer feeds off of sugar. Yeah, that's 100% sure. This is the one where I said it was like my mom's hair, like spot on. She will also, for people who have watched my mom and I do the wig parties before, she will be back on but like I said, she got COVID first, so she's still sick, and I'm doing a little better. So um, she will be back on when she's better, so we'll definitely be able to uh, have her on again. She's cute. She's got a little flippy do here. She's got a lot of volume up here is what I've got to say. Quite a bit of volume if that's something you're looking for. She's cute though. And this color that I have her in is called Silver and Smoke. So there is the rooting. You can see it. And she gets a little bit darker in the back. Yep. It's a very natural sort of gradation to the dark in the back. Oh, I'm so sorry you're dealing with that. Thank you for explaining. I'll bring that up to my specialist next appointment, says Joe. All right. So the last Raquel Welsh I have is, it is called It Curl. Do you have that one, Shirley? Can't wait to see a live with you and your mom. Your Our moms are such a blessing. Yeah. Yeah, no, she she really enjoys doing it. Like she has me put her makeup on and everything too. So it's it's like a super fun sort of thing. And I know that it helps everyone too because there's different age groups of people who need wigs. And sometimes if somebody's older than I am, it makes it difficult to tell if they'll like the wig or if it'll look good on someone who's older. So it definitely helps. I know when my mom's here, she's just not able to do it as as much as I can. So all right. Well, I'm gonna put on the last one. Hopefully we have it. We have it curl, Shirley. If not, then I'll just remove it from the thing and everyone can just see this color because I know this color exists. Okay, so this is it curl and this is in shaded platinum. So you can see it's very warm for sure. But it has a, all right, this is an interesting cap. So it is like a machine, but with like lace front and all the way to the ear tabs, which is really cool. An extended 
uh, excuse me, I keep saying extended, it's a velvet moldable ear tab. It has where there's silicone along that. Yes, we do. Okay, we do have this one. All right, so silicone all the way over to help with gripping. So it's like basic on the top, but like there's bells and whistles still. So it's kind of interesting. An extended velvet nape here and Velcro adjusters. And after this one, I think I'll probably call it a night since it's been on for almost two and a half hours. <laughs> All right, so if you like curls, there are curls here. And I plan to come on tomorrow night also. Maybe I'll focus on just Bell Trust then if people want to watch that. But this all up for if... Um, my kids aren't dying and my husband isn't dying because um, I think the problem with the two we didn't have is possible because Dawn is working on pricing. Oh, Raquel and Gabor also, okay, price increase. Okay. Well, I will keep those wigs like there just in case the last thing I want to do is think I can show them and like I actually can't sort of thing, but just let me know. Uh, my husband says I breathe still or I still breathe. Yeah, I know, babe, but I'm trying to make sure you don't die so that, you know, if I have to take care of you or the kids, I can't be doing this. That would be really not good priority-wise. Uh, if you have cancers in your family, especially colon, female, or prostate, you should be checked. There are five different variants of lunch. Oh, okay. That's good information, Denise. Thank you, Allison. Go rest and relax. Good night. Oh, all right. Goodbye, Teresa. Thank you for coming in. Adam says I will try. Really pretty, says Dolores. That wig looks beautiful on you, Allison. Thank you so much, Joe. I, I, it's, there's a lot going on here. I almost feel like if I was to try and style it a bit more, I feel like I would like it probably a bit more. The colors, I feel a bit much. I feel like it's so warm. I wonder if during the day and not in these lights, if it, if it doesn't look as warm as this. But I feel like the warmth in the color is just kind of a lot. Let's see. kind of trust trust the method shall we okay give me just a second so I feel like I already I already kind of like that a bit more uh, so here's some wig wax the Trezalor wig wax and this is something that helps to hold styles um, so you can like shape it a bit. I'm going to also do the trick that I do where you just run your hands through the synthetic fibers and that helps to kind of bring them back to shape. You can either spritz them with water also or if you just do this it just kind of helps to bring them back instead of keeping them poofy. I think it is too warm for me anyway says Mary. Yeah I mean this obviously comes in other colors but yeah I was thinking the color is kind of warm. Looks low density, and yes, it's too warm for me, but I love the style and density, says Denise. Yes, so I would say the cap construction is really good. And even though the color is not great, it definitely is low density. And I will do this real quick to show you guys. All right, so I feel like that looks a little better now. Let's see. What do you guys think now? You think it's a little better now? It's right off the place. I feel like that looks a little better now.
on with everyone's leaving okay <laughs> really pretty says dolores uh fun wig party all right good night julia thank you beautiful love this one says denise thanks so much allison you're, you're very welcome Anne. good night yes cancer is everywhere joe you're right i think it's too warm for me anyway wait uh, can you use dry shampoo yes you can use dry shampoo yes love the warmth of it says sharon yes i actually really love warmth too if you think about it like i really love reds Yes, better, says Margaret. Okay, way better, says Sandra. Cute style. I want to be able to wear any wigs without a band and won't stay with won't stay without one. Yeah, so if you shave your hair your hair off, especially if it's already falling out, what I've noticed is that um as you have like the little bit of stubble that comes out, it almost grips it, kind of like Velcro. And I just I always just shave it down all the time. I don't have very much that grows. Like I'm gonna get off in a minute, but I will show you. Um so like this is what my scalp looks like. You can see there's a little bit of hair there, but it's very little. And I have a uh, scarring alopecia, so when it falls out, it's gone. And so I've got like these little patches everywhere where you can't see it. And like the little bit that does grow back, I don't want to deal with it, so I shave it off and then it helps grip stuff. Thanks, Shirley. Thanks, Allison. All right. Good night. All right. Good night, uh, Andy, Mary. Great party. Uh, Luann, thank you. All right, guys. Definitely going to call it a night now. I will potentially see you tomorrow. If not, um, I, I won't. <laughs> but I will see you the following weekend for sure. Um, you guys are so very welcome, and I enjoyed doing this. Thank you, Allison. Please take care of yourself first. Can yes. Thank you so much, J.E. All right. Yes. Good night, Margaret and Denise. Yes. And Joe, thank you all for being here. Ladies. appreciate you spending your time with us. Have a blessed week and maybe whoop, mm, we'll, we will see you tomorrow, Allison. Take care of yourselves and rest. Everyone is speedy recovery. Thank you, Shirley. All right. Good night, everybody. Mary, Sharon, Kathleen, Joe. Good night, guys.